The story begins with J. Jonah Jameson barging into the Star Rocks business meeting. As he enters, his mind drifts back to the events that have led him to this very moment. It all started just a week ago when Jameson, accompanied by his intern Peter Parker, paid a visit to Dr. Kurt Connors for a ribbon-cutting ceremony. Jameson is funding Connors' research on fighting cancer with radiation-resistant animal genes. As Peter snapped pictures, Jameson couldn't help but let his frustration and grief pour out. He shouted, What's the point of pouring money into this freak show if it couldn't even save my own son? And then from out of nowhere, a spider bit his hand. In the present, J. Jonah Jameson is currently battling Star Rocks with Peter Parker by his side as his assistant, and the one who provided him with web shooters. Jonah believes that Star Rocks is responsible for his son's death. To make matters worse, they have enlisted the help of Herman Schultz, also known as Shocker, to protect them. As Shocker rushes to change into his costume, Jameson's mind drifts back to the day after he was bitten by the spider. Jameson wakes up feeling unwell, unable to remember how he made it home. He finds himself in a mist of a vivid dream, where his late son, John, appears before him. John utters, I never thought it would be this tough, doing what you love, but it's the hardest thing in the world. Promise me, Dad, I know you. Don't lose your temper. Confused and taken aback, Jameson realizes he's stuck to the ceiling, and then he comes face to face with Peter, who had come to check on him since he had never been late to work before. Together, they discover that Star Rocks might be the one behind Jameson's son, John's death. Now, in the present, they join forces to uncover the truth. As Jameson engages in a fierce battle with the Shocker, he learns that the Shocker was the one responsible for John's death. This ignites a burning rage within Jameson, prompting him to strike the Shocker with all his might, propelling him out of the building. In the midst of this intense moment, Jameson contemplates killing him. However, he quickly realizes that with responsibility, there must also come accountability. With this in mind, he webs up the Shocker. Shocker offers Jameson money, but Jameson declines, stating that money can't fix everything. But the truth helps. Jameson then records a confession from the Shocker and he publishes it in the Daily Bugle. Peter playfully calls him Spider-Man. However, Jameson dismisses the name saying, Spider-Man, that's a first draft, kid. If we're going to keep working together, leave the writing to me. You just get me pictures. With that, Jameson, also known as Headline, swings off into the city. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel.